Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So today I wanted to do a how-to tutorial on big sexy loose curls. Um, I have thinner hair um, and so today I'm just going to divide it into two sections. However, if you have thicker hair, you can divide it into three or even four sections. I would say three should probably do it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to start off. I have obviously blow dry my hair um, just with a big rolly brush like you can see in one of my videos I'll post the link below and I'm just gonna tie up half of my hair right now sorry my phone's beeping in the middle of this okay I'm just gonna tie up half my hair like so and we're just gonna start from the bottom too so I always find that a little bit easier and one of the products I have is hairspray and this is like one of my favorites and it's dirt cheap it's just the Tresemme unscented extra hold and honestly it's like cheap it's a big bottle it lasts forever and yeah it works really really good I find it does anyway so pretty much just the main rule about this is you want to remember to always curl back from your face um, and I usually grab about that much hair so it's about an inch inch and a half of hair and I usually just kind of bring it down and heat it up first I just find it styles a little better that way and then I just actually roll just the right in the middle of my hair and I do this just because it's going to give a little bit of extra body right in the middle of my hair and then I leave it for a few seconds like say five seconds or so and then I pull through and I don't quite do right at the ends, I leave a little bit at the ends and then I roll it all the way up and just hold it. And I wanted to add to the curling iron that I have is actually from Sally Beauty and it, it, it was around 50 or $60, I got it a while ago so I can't remember but if you get a decent quality curling iron that's going to make a huge difference too in how your hair looks so I recommend getting a good one. So there you can kind of see kind of how the curl is gonna be and I just kind of sorry my cord's getting caught there I just kind of leave it and then I just keep going around like this the rest of my hair so heat it up first and then just do the middle like so just wrap it around like that wait for five seconds and then just I kind of lift up the top of it a bit just so the hair slides through a little easier and again, I just leave that little bit at the end there, like about an inch or two right at the end, and then pull it up. And you can really do this hairstyle for any length of hair too. It can be for shorter hair or for really long hair. I'm just going to keep going um, it around and around. Now I'm just getting to the center of my hair. So I'm going to curl the same way I just was. And then once I get right to the center in the back of my neck, I usually will start now on the other side. So I'm going to start right here. And remember, we always have to curl back. So I'm just going to start by heating it up and then just kind of letting the center part heat here because again it's going to just add a bit more volume especially if you've thin hair like me <laughs> okay and now the bottom half is done so I'm just going to spray it and now I'm going to take down the top part and we're going to do the same thing all over again just on the top level of my hair and you can kind of part it wherever you're comfortable parting it. I like to do a little bit of a side part but not too drastic but depends on the occasion. And again you just want at about an inch and a half thickness of your hair. You don't want it too little because then they're going to be the curls are just going to be too tight but if you have it bigger, you're going to get the bigger, looser look. So again, I'm just going to heat up my hair. And then just curl right in the middle here. 
Hold it for five seconds and then pull through. And hold it for, I don't know, you can hold it for a good five, ten seconds, just depending on how well your hair curls. Because mine is fine, it tends to curl pretty quickly, so I don't have to hold it as long as if you had thicker hair. And I'm just going to do the same thing over again. Okay, and I'm just going to hairspray it a bit. Okay, and since I got to about halfway there on my head, I'm just going to start again. Actually, usually the top I kind of keep going from the back. I don't know why, it just seems a little bit easier. So, I'm going to grab kind of a bigger piece here and just heat it up again. We have to switch directions this time. And I do have the curling iron up, like it's quite, quite hot. I find the hotter it is, the easier it curls. I know it's not like the best for your hair, so if you can, use a heat protectant. Styling protectant. And then the front, um, depending, like I have some layers, so I don't like to take the curl too, too high. But I still want it to kind of blend into the rest, so... This one, because it's not as long, I can't really do the hold it first and then do it, so I kind of just do it all at once, like so. Oh, it is hairspray time, so you want to get as much body as you can, and I just kind of tousle it a bit with my fingers, like so. Let's see how it's just kind of loose and messy, but it does give it some volume. And next, what I usually do is I just want it to be a little bit higher at the top, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of back combing, nothing major, just with a comb like so. It has the other end on it like that, which is kinda nice, but I just go up and down like so, and then I spray it on the back and the front, and just kinda let it hang. Don't worry, I'm not going out like this, guys, I promise. And then I usually just let this sit for a minute. And then I use the other, well, you can use either end, but sometimes it's easier to use the pick end to try and brush it out, because you don't want to fully brush it out, you just kind of want to pull at it a little bit so it still looks neat, but the back comb is still there so your hair won't move anywhere. Because it's nice to have that body at the top here. Okay, and I'm just going to do one more quick spray, and I usually just kind of fluff it up a little like that with my hands. And then on the top, same thing. There, just to kind of give it that. And I kind of go like that sometimes too to try and get the flyaways down. So there you go, guys. This is the final look. I'll just turn around here so you guys can see. Anyway, hope you guys like it. I like it because it is a easy summer loose curl gives you that quick volume look super easy super quick really it takes me like less than 10 minutes to do it that's why i like it being a mom i don't have too much time so anyway guys i hope you liked it if you have any questions or comments please comment below and please subscribe to my channel it's free and i will talk to you guys next week bye